Hey guys, I'm Wiley. And I'm Trin. And we are here with some very special guests. Go ahead and introduce yourselves, guys. Um, I'm Tanner DeMassa. And I'm Carter Crispin. Awesome. So we're here to talk about how the football season went. So can you guys give us just a brief overview of how you felt it was? Yeah, so I'll start off. Um, we started off by going to California for our yeah. first game against nice. oh, the wow. state champions. They won last year. Oh, that's so cool. we beat them pretty good. And then throughout the year, I'd say we got a lot better. And we really had some tough opponents. We lost to uh, um, Highland at the end of it, but I think we had a great season. Yeah, nice. overall, it was just super fun. Just looking forward to each game week by week. And like Tanner said, we got we got better each week. And I think that's just what's great about football, just being with the team and getting better as a team and looking forward to the next opponent. Awesome. Yep. Awesome. So what would you guys say was the most intense game this season? I would definitely say our last game, our yeah. last Highland game. Our last game, For crazy, sure. tough one, but it was a crazy game. What yep. made it so intense? I think it was just the fact that there were a lot of seniors that we'd, we'd all played together our whole lives. Like me and Carter have yeah. been playing yeah. together since fourth grade. We have a lot of friends that have been, and it's really just the last time you're going to be, be able to play that sport with all your friends. So. Yeah, same thing as Tanner. It's just knowing that, you know, that was kind of it. And it was just a back and forth game and, you know, all the way up until the end, but just tough one. Yeah. Um, how do you guys feel about the outcome of that game? The outcome, I'm really <laughs> yeah. sad about. <laughs> yeah. The, okay. The season as a whole, I think, was really great. I met a lot of new people. Um, really got close with our whole team. I feel like this season was worth to lose like that at the end. Yeah, yeah. that's why I was. I'm like, I'm. I'm glad how we went out. Obviously. That wasn't our goal or <laughs> yeah. isn't what we wanted. It was a, obviously just so sad just knowing that's the last high school football game. But like Tanner said, this season's been super fun and just, you know, connecting with the whole team has been really good. And then one more yeah. thing, I think we did everything we can, so I don't think yeah. we have. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. good. to feel bad about. Yeah. No which, regrets. Uh, which game would you guys say you were, like, most proud of the outcome? Like, you either you won or you like put y'all into it and you guys were just feeling really um, proud by the end of it. I'm gonna have to say our first playoff game, the Brophy game. Mm -hmm. So there's just a bunch of up and downs and it wasn't my it wasn't my best game, but I felt like I came back strong at the end and, you know, won the game. So it was just that was just probably one of my proudest moments. That's and good. then I'd probably say the Chandler game, we had a couple unfortunate big touchdowns on special teams and but other than that our offense played really, really well that game and it was a tough opponent, and we played well. So Nice. Yeah. Um, which game um, out of this entire season would you guys say that you were most excited for? I would definitely say the first Highland game just because it was our senior night, and we lost mm -hmm. them last year in the semifinals just like we lost them this year. So it was a good chance, to, a good opportunity to get back at them from last year. Yeah. yeah. It I would have to I would have to say our first game just because I wasn't able to play against Highland the first time since I hurt my knee, but that first game was just so fun traveling all the way to California. Yeah. We just had we just had so much energy and just yeah. you know we made like a trip out of it. We got the win. It was it was just a good time. That's, That's awesome. Good. Um, how do you guys feel about this season overall? Do you think it was like a good last season for you guys? Yeah, I, I definitely think it was a great season just because. It was a great way to end it with everybody that we'd been playing with our whole lives. Mm -hmm. And our coaches were amazing and couldn't yeah. be more thankful. Yeah, I, I wouldn't have wanted it any other way. I wouldn't have wanted to do it with any other team. I I appreciate and love every single buddy that I got to play with this year. And like Tanner said, just going out, going out for that last time as a team, it, it really meant a lot. Yeah, for sure. Um, what would you guys say was your favorite moment this season, either like during a game or during a practice? Hmm. I don't know, like, that's, that's a tough one. There's just, yeah. there's just so much more to football that I feel like people don't see. Just so many relationships that you build and so many mm -hmm. friendships and so many. I mean, we have practice every, almost every single day, you know, for the past, for pretty much this whole semester and all through the summer. So there's just so much going on. It's definitely hard to choose just one specific moment. Like Carter said, there's, we go to morning lifts, we have afternoon practices, we have film. So we're really together so much. So I don't think you can really yeah. bring it down to one moment like that. But I think it's just hanging out with your team and just yeah. having yeah. fun. Just, just being yeah. together as yeah. a team. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Um, 
What would you guys say to like uh, your team that's like still playing like the juniors that are going to be seniors next year? Like, what would you guys say to them? Oh, I love I love the underclassmen and <laughs> the guys that are still playing. So they're going to do great things and yeah, go have a go have a fun time. You know, don't take it for granted. Yeah, just you know, just take every moment like it's your last because you never know you're an injury away from you know your season being over or. You know, you, you just never know what can happen. So just take advantage of every moment you can at practice in the weight room and just, you know, do everything you can to prepare yourself for that. And it really season. is just a super fun time in your life. Just yeah. Go just, out there and there's really no pressure just in a high school it. football game. It's just you playing a sport that you really like and it's super fun. Yep, so, yeah, for sure. All right. I think that's all we have for you guys today. Thank you so yeah, much for coming down. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you yeah. so much. And now we're on to announcements. It's that time of year again, candy cane gram time. AP Council is continuing their tradition of selling reindeer candy cane grams with personalized messages and holiday wishes to the RMHS student or staff of your choice. It only costs $1 per candy cane gram. See an AP Council member or Mrs. Kubrick in room 244 to purchase yours today. They will be delivered Tuesday, December 13th. Any boys interested in playing boys volleyball next semester, there will be an informational meeting on Thursday, December 8th in room 267 after school. See Coach Hutter for questions. On behalf of the Environmental Club, many thanks to the participants of the recycling campaign. Together, the school recycled 2015 or 2015.63 pounds of paper. There you go. However, one classroom soared above and beyond. Congratulations to the winner of the donut par- party, Mr. Hines's first period, which recycled 390.88 pounds of paper. Great job, Mountain Lions. AP students, you're invited to come join AP Council for our next meeting and our last get together for 2022. Learn just how we support AP programs and students here at RMHS. Come join AP Council at our next meeting Wednesday, December 14th in room 244 at 115, right after eighth period. We will wrap up candy cane grams and plan spring events. See you there. Freshmen, can you believe that your first high school exams are only a week away? Come to the cafeteria Tuesday, December 13th for cocoa and cram from 3.15 to 4.30 p.m. to study with Link Crew tutors and celebrate the end of your first semester in high school. Bring your backpack, notes, and studying materials, and your Link Crew leader will be happy to help you prepare for the big exam. Save the date and we'll see you there. Seniors, if you have applied or are thinking of applying to college or trade schools, it's important to fill out your free application for federal student aid. You and your parent or guardian are invited to attend FAFSA night on Thursday, December 8th in the Commons. Sorry, stop in any time between 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. to receive assistance from financial aid experts. Complete your FAFSA on the spot and enjoy a borrow's pizza for dinner. Spanish-speaking assistance will be available and the sign-up form is found on the RMHS College and Career website. All aboard! Link Crew is inviting you to hop on the Polar Express and join us for our first ever Polar Express pajama party. Do you like hanging out with friends, but maybe you never have time? Do you like getting comfy cozy in your PJs and just being able to relax while getting into the holiday spirit? Then come join Link Crew in the small gym on Friday, December 9th from 6.30 to 9 p.m. for some holiday fun as we bring the Polar Express to the Red Mountain Big Screen every time. Make sure you wear your favorite school appropriate pajamas bring a sleeping bag or blanket and be prepared for a night of holiday games snacks movies and fun the cost is five dollars or bring five non-perishable food items to donate to our local food pantry guess what freshmen you guys get in for free with your id so mark your calendars and we'll see you on friday december 9th for some polar express pajama party fun rmhs astronomy club will meet every thursday after school from 3 15 to 4 in room 159 Club Diversity meets tomorrow during both lunches. Fifth lunch meets at 11.50 and sixth lunch meets at 12.45. Meetings are held every other Friday in room 252. Come and learn about how to make a difference in your community and how all your hard work can pay off with a trip to Disneyland. And that's all for the announcements today, and we'll see you on the next episode. Adios. Adios.